What's up, you're working Stephen Hill. Welcome back to you. another reaction. Today we are hopping into the Haunting of Hill House episode number two of season number one. I mean, I guess these aren't really seasons. Uh, it's called Open Casket. Why? <laughs> Why there has to be an open casket? Uh, so yeah, you guys enjoyed the first episode over on Patreon. So I decided to just finish the season, which I'm assuming will then lead to you guys enjoying the season and wanting me to react to Bly Manor. So. Yay. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know what to say. Yep, the acting is great. The look of the show is great. The pacing was pretty solid. And it scared the shit out of me. And I don't even think anything really scary happened. Well, well, a couple of scary things happened. But more like the what could happen that scares me. And the noises. Like, like I rock these shits loud. <laughs> like, this is loud. And I, maybe that's on me. Maybe I should lower it so I'm not, so I don't hear, like, jump scare shit. But, um. Yeah, we're going to hop in here, have some fun, have a good time. Well, as good of a time as we can. You guys are going to have a good time because you guys are going to watch me get scared. As always, Patreon if you want the full reaction. If you don't, that's totally cool. You can get the episodes here. I'll try to put the highlights of me being scared. Oh, man. Uh, last episode, we got the introduction to the family and the haunted house. And Sister Ghost was, you know, actually dead and... My heart is legitimately uh, going fast. I am actually scared. I don't know why. It's weird because I can do horror. I can do like horror stuff. And I can't do ghost shit, man. It's the ghost part of this shit. It's the ghosts. Why does it got to be ghosts? <sighs> Let's hop in here. Have a good time, guys. Pretty much. Here we go. I know grandma's dead. But she still comes to my room at night, and she still sits Aww. on my bed. Damn, a little kid. Even though mommy and daddy said she wouldn't. Her fingers were purple. She did have teeth, and she did not have hair. I don't want to see her again, especially like that. And you probably also know that she had fake teeth. Maybe she took them out once to show you, made you laugh. Are you a therapist? The thing about an open casket. Come here, take a look. See, the timeline is throwing me off. <laughs> Okay, so this is mom this before everything went to hell. It's our forever house. Not in the fisticated. Sophisticated. <laughs> fisticated. As a Maybe she'll have one with you. Oh, son of a bit. Nah, man, what the hell is that? You have any other ideas about that that red door upstairs? Oh, afraid not. Not 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 for that one. I was just taking pictures of a cemetery. Nope. Call daddy. Be your dad. And why? If it's an animal, what are you gonna do? Where's your mommy? Hey. Hey. But you're just the cutest little thing. Fuck was that? You know what that is? A mask? Yeah. Halloween mask. Old one. You good? Yeah, he still moves. What's happening? An insurance policy, it's six thousand a month, and we do recommend a four to six month commitment. What? I'm sorry, did you say six thousand? A month. That's right. And what the hell? It costs a shit and ton to get clean. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like the Captain Lane mask. It's all yours. Where'd you get those, Allie? At the mall. Nice. <sighs> Practically begged me. She has to be like a cool aunt. to be like you. I'm not. Nope. <laughs> what are you going to see? I don't know. I keep getting scared. There's five of them like there's five of us. That one's me. Like this. You get just enough and you drop a What? Huh? What do you want? I uh, don't even Why are you banging on the wall? Oh shit. I, I'm not. Oh. You are. You're banging on the wall to tell me about the stupid dogs? Oh, what the fuck? What was that? Oh, 
House is too big. Your parents can't hear you. Fuck that. Too big. House is too big. House is too hey. big. Okay. Hey. I bet that's what it was. Yeah, definitely. You know, Look. it was shaking so hard it was knocking on pictures. Now, right? It's oh. Thanks. But it ain't three oh three. Jesus. Damn, it took him that long to call and say Steve. your sister. It's now. It's the middle of the night. She's dead. One's not moving though. Oh, one's. Oh, damn it! One died. This kitten grew up in a tool shed and my room. I'm not sure what her name was because her brothers and sisters all look the same, but I think she was the one I called Jasper. Hmm. She was a good kitten and, and she- Moving. Uh, hey, hey, it's okay. Wait, 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 what the hell is wait, happening? Wait, 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 it's okay, I'm right here, it's okay. Does he even know that she's dead? No idea. If he doesn't, that's on him. He deserves to be here. You're not giving him time to get here. He missed her wedding. We're not going to let him miss her funeral, too. He has time. But I'm not leaving her in a freezer until Luke gets his shit together. I don't want to go. No, no. Harder for her. Is everything okay? She's just a little scared, I think. No, that's okay. Here, come with me. But I don't know. Worry about you don't know her. You don't have to know someone to do the cosmetics. And restoration. The coroner ruled it a suicide. And there's restorative Where's her work husband? to do. Sure. She was in that house for hours. She, 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 the blood pooled in. Are they still sleeping? Ah, uh, shit. Oh, God. No. Oh. No. Ah! Well, that's what's happening, Steve. No idea what was wrong. We, we couldn't let you try to take care of a pet who was so sick. But you gave it to someone else. Um, just tell me. Just, just, just. Wait, what's why wrong? would just you give away on, the on. last just one, the just, only just, one just, left? Just, 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 just quiet. Just, just, it's just, not fair. Just, 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 it's not fair. Stop it. I'm uh, uh. so happy for you, Nellie. Come in. Hey. Hey. Before or after the book? You look amazing. Thanks. How's Arthur? Oh, him. He's great. I handcuffed him to a radiator downstairs. He's not going anywhere. Steve. Ty, how high are you with Luke? Hey. Oh, hey. you're high as hell. No, this was the. Hell, Luke. what? Hold on. What? Hey, I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah, your eyes look like you're fine. I, I, just, I just wanted to make sure that I got to tell her that I was happy. Look at me. What? Look at me. You're high. No. You're not smearing your shit all over a day, Luke. Sure. You're not. I'm level. I just... I just really want to be here for her. You should have thought about that before you put the needle in your arm. Mm. What's the cap? 20? 30? Here's 100. You can shoot up the rest. I don't care. Wow. This is the last I ever give you. No more loans, no more treatment centers, nothing. The store's closed. I'm done. I think I'm trying to show up and say, ah, oh, what the fucking hell? It's you, less scary, because it's you. Oh, wait, never mind. Kind of like she's a burn victim. Oh, it's your mom. That shit. What the hell is that? It's like a bite. You've been going through this shit and you ain't talking to nobody? What the hell? Did this all start recently? I 
wanna see your ghost? Oh, what? Wait, the porch light. The porch light thing, right? Home? Okay. Well, that was episode number two. Less scary than episode number one to me. Yeah, it was less scary. Um, good episode. Uh, what I give? What I give? Episode one a nine, ten, nine. Um, continuation. Nothing I hated. But like it was a lot of build up, like you know, slow build throughout the episode. Acting. I don't know. Eight nine probably is where I would go. I don't know how good this is gonna get. Like I really thought the first episode was like amazing, like really, really good. It just scared the shit out of me and it had the good the scares. This one had less scares. Um because even when we saw mom and the thing talked, it wasn't that scary. But um and the episode was great. I do want to see some. Who was the guy that she saw? Here. What is this? Who's that? When I first thought I thought it was Steve, but then he disappeared. Is that? I don't know who that is. Um, yeah, I mean, oh, where we go? Uh, Luke, that kid, man, he's gonna. This is gonna be an episode where something's gonna scare the like. It's gonna fuck him up, man. And I do not. I am not excited for that episode. Something is gonna mess that kid up. Uh, the scariest part in this episode was the the room. Banging on the doors. Um, that was probably the scariest moment, I think. Um, Girlie wanted to do Nell's uh, um, her, her whole thing. And that's, that's intense. Uh, it's interesting because Nell, Nell almost blamed Steve. He was saying, I told you to, I told you something was wrong. But Nell didn't, but, but Shirley didn't, Shirley blamed Steve for what happened to Nell. But, Shirley didn't really do. Is it Shirley or Cheryl? It's Shirley. Shirley didn't um didn't really do her anything herself to find her sister. The Thea Theodore or Theo, whatever her name was. I think her name is Theo. She couldn't handle being there, so she went away. Luke, we don't know where Luke is. Luke could be dead himself. We have no idea. We do know that he uh. That when he went to rehab the first time, Shirley put up six thousand dollars, and he lasted there like a week. It's just crazy to think about that you just essentially wasted all that money. If that happens. I feel like they should give you your money back. The person isn't there the full month. Um, I thought it was cool. Like parallels were going between her sister's death and then the death she saw when she was a child. Uh, it seemed like they were explaining to her what death was, like how to handle it, what people do. Uh, the stuff with the cats was weird, mega random. But she found some cats, and then the cats slowly started to die. We found out that the mom suffers from really bad migraines. Um, like I still think that the jumping around in timeline, I, like I would, I would say would throw like a, a a year or something. All they say is then present now whatever but there's when we go back then there's two timelines one is after mom died and one's before when we, when we got to the house so and um you know i have to wait to see what's happening so for me to figure out where we're at but another great i mean it's a great it's a great episode man it's a great episode like i like the show i'm just a scaredy cat when it comes to the ghosts and who this guy is i have no idea because then he disappears this must be somebody she saw, maybe somebody she knew when she was younger, maybe. What was the beginning? The beginning is her waking up screaming, or like her whole little out of, like gasping for air. Talk to the little kid. He doesn't want to see his grandma the way that they were going to see. Then we see 
what she does, how she fixes up people. We see the mom used to be um architect or whatever and kind of see how she how she was able to um kind of bring that into her or like into her like to her like to get the dream home, right? She she draws it, dad builds it. That was a cool little thing. Uh we try playing with sister. We see Luke by himself. Now I wanna just pause on this little girl. Oh boy. The hell is this? Now in the first episode, he was drawing somebody. Now the cemetery on this land. I could never do. But he's a little girl in the woods. We then find the cats. So I want to see when she flashes here. Yeah, that that did scary. Wasnas. Um the dog thing is weird also. Where they talk about dogs, but then the guy, the house, the um groundskeeper says that there is no dogs. Okay, it's about the daredevil thing. This is the forever home. This is the part where she sees the guy sitting out here, which I don't know who it is. Then we jump over here. For the day that you know, we put him in rehab. We have the sister or the daughter who wants to be like the sister. Um, hop over. Kitty cats. This is this scene is some scary shit. First off, this shit is scary because the little girl scared me. The little girl that I can't tell where I know her from. Is she from like she she from um is she from a uh, Ryan Chris Seven's movie? She in a movie called Gifted? Is that the girl from Gifted? She's also been in, like I think she's also been on a couple of TV shows, right? I've I've seen her and also in the promo for for an Amazon movie. Is that her? Yeah, she walks in like this. What? Like what the hell? I thought you was a I thought you was a killer. And then I thought that it was cool the way that the bang happens and I start to slowly freak out and And I would have been like, Dad, it ain't the pipes. Pipes don't do that. What kind of old ass boom? Pipes do that. Um, so what I was asking is this is something that happened. But did did they see this? Whatever this is, they see this? Or is that just part of her, like, her nightmare? Also, she woke up at a different time this time. Usually it was, like, wasn't it, like, 3.03 or something? And then she woke up at 2.22. Then we said the whole dead. We, no Steve this episode, really. Barely any Steve. And finds the kitty cat dead. We bury it. Then she thinks it's alive. And a bug comes out of it. We bring the sister in. Telling her not to do it. Let somebody, else, another professional do it. Theo doesn't want it to happen. Does Theo work here? I can't remember. Um, then we have the moment where she was saying what she, you know, she'll walk with the little boy. Little. The guy that we saw at the table, was it, it wasn't this guy, right? It doesn't look like this guy. Um, you know, we're doing the whole picture thing. We talk about the fact that she wants to, uh, that was the day that she realized she wanted to do this. Um, yeah, this entire s s thing made me just kind of, oh, this is the thing with the kitty cats. They're that again. This one. Size and what the fuck is that? Um, she gets mad at her mom. Mom gets a migraine. These two argue because the mom gets mad that, uh, what's mom's name? Mom's name is Olivia. She uh, gets mad because, you know, dad lets, let her bring the cats home in. Her kids ask what about the auntie. Then up to the wedding day, the Luke arrive high as a kite. It's mad. She cuts Luke off. Uh, the giant bug coming out of her mouth. And when she's you know, crying, thing, I fixed, I fixed her. It's what I do, which is what drives her later. Become what she becomes. 
this this wasn't that scary. So I could do with I could deal with this. If it's a zombie, like it's a, I could deal with this. I'm cool if it, if this mom if this thing was just walking around and it was a a, a thing a creature, I could deal with that. But it's a ghost and you don't know what's gonna happen and what form it's gonna be. Um and yeah, this is cool because the whole when the porch light is on, it's time to come home. So my guess. Is that my guess? Is that is that the porch light means that I go back to the hill house? That's what my guess is gonna be. I think this is the house. I think this is the ghost or whatever calling them back to the house. That's what I think it is. Um, yeah, but that's the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Patreon for the full reaction. Uncut episodes over there if you want them. If you don't, totally cool. You can get episodes here whenever they show up. But I'm going to get out of here and talk to you guys.